you can easily remove annoying pauses. Just like that from your videos by using an online tool. Greg here from Opus Clip and I'm going to show you how. So to start, you just need to head to the Opus Clip website. You can find it by typing Opus Clip into Google and clicking on this top link here. And once you're on the website, just click this button up here to use Opus Clip on a free trial. Pop a link in here to upload a video directly from YouTube, Vimeo, Zoom, and a ton of other websites. Or you can upload your video directly by clicking this upload button, which is what I'll do in this example. Now my video with all of the pauses in it has been uploaded. You'll see it here. Once your video has been uploaded too, you just need to scroll down and do a couple more things. So first off, you just need to make sure that this don't clip button here is clicked so that the AI knows to study the entirety of your video when it's searching for pauses. And secondly, you just need to come down and select a template that you want the tool to use. So by default, the tool wants to add subtitles and resize your video into a vertical video like these. I don't want these. I want my end video to look like it originally did horizontal. So I've actually set up a template that I need to choose here called horizontal no captions to make sure that when the tool is removing my pauses, it's keeping everything else the same too. I've set these horizontal templates up, one with captions and one without them previously to save me time. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second too. Great, so now I've chosen the right template as well. I just need to click this button up here to get clips in one click. Great, so after just a couple of minutes of waiting, the Opus Clip AI has now studied my video and is ready to remove my pauses. So to do that, I just need to click this edit clip button here. And this is where the magic happens. This is where we remove our pauses. You'll see that if you play the video you want fixed, it shows over here on the right hand side and that the video that you've uploaded will have had everything that's been said in that video converted to text over here on the left hand side. We can quickly scroll through this now. And what the tool has done is it's found all of the pauses in that original recording and pointed them out by writing how long each pause lasts for in the transcript. So we've got a 1.2 second pause here, a 4.5 second pause here. There's a seven second pause here, so it definitely needs to remove that. And I'll just play one of these pauses to prove it to you. So let's jump to this pause. One and a half seconds that happens after the word silences. I'll just play this now. No, now silences from your video is... So those are the types of pauses we want removed. The tool has done a great job of finding them. Now to see the magic and to automatically remove all of these pauses, all we need to do is click this button here, clean. You'll see that the AI has found 12 pauses in total. And I can press this button to remove pauses and instantly the pauses have been taken out of the transcript up here. You'll see that the transcript looks different. That's because the pauses have been removed. So we'll test this now by going to the same part of the script where I say known as silences. You'll remember there was a one and a half second pause originally after the word silences. We'll press play there and see what it sounds like now. Known as silences from your video. There we go. That one and a half second pause has been reduced down to less than half a second. And if we scroll along the timeline here, we'll see that it's now made up of tons of individual clips, whereas before it was just one big long clip. And that's because now every time we have a moment in the timeline going from one clip to the next, just like we are hovering over now, this is a moment where a silence was removed from the original recording. It really is as easy as that to remove pauses from your videos online using that silence trimmer functionality from inside Opus Clip. Finally, as I said, this is a lot easier to do if you already have that horizontal template set up. So I'll just quickly show you how to do that now. So to do that, we go over to brand template over here. And when you're in this template creation screen, you just want to make sure you've got this 16 by nine option selected. So the horizontal video option, you want to make sure the original ratio of the video is maintained. And then if you want captions added to your video while you're doing this process, you can just press this checkbox and set your template to automatically add captions to any video that you're removing pauses in. Or if you don't want captions, you just unclick this button and captions won't be added. You only set that template at one time then you can quickly reuse it anytime you need to remove pauses from your videos online using Opus Clip in the future. One thing to mention, 
The process I showed you today only works in this way for videos that are 15 minutes or less. If you've got an original recording that's longer than 15 minutes, you're better off using Opus Clip in a different way to get the most from that footage. If you want to know exactly what I mean, click this video here to see the full range of Opus Clip features and how you can get the best of it. Uh, subscribe to this channel for more tips like this and I'll see you very soon. Thank you Opus Clip for having me.